Alright guys, welcome back. Last episode, we were told that she had a baby. No, she thinks she's pregnant. Um, so, we're about to go to the pharmacy and get what we need for her. Mmm. Mmm, no, it's a pharmacy. It's not a pharmacy. There's a pharmacy right next door in there. Yes, there is. Let's get in there. Alright, well, let's um, see what's gonna happen here. This looks like the test she needed to take this with me. Pregnancy test. Alright, well. Huh? What the heck? There's an angel in it. Oh. <laughs> what? John. Do not be afraid. You just came out of a pregnancy test box. That's really something. I merely come to say goodbye. Real I realize now. I have seen your determination to leave this place, and now there is Muh. Now there's something I could nothing I could do to stop you. My brothers and I also persuade me to in spite of my stubbornness. Even my intentions were pure. I cannot force you to keep you here. It goes against the will of the Almighty. So that's it. We're free to go. Yeah. As of today, you and I shall not see each other again. I can do more. I can do no more but wish you well, no matter what path you may choose. Hey, wait. Just a question. Well, you know about Sarah. I know that she cannot finish this journey with you. But she can guide you. And help you the decision that you'll make. Now farewell, John. Alright. I probably should have recorded the last bit. <laughs> That's my bad. Hey, I'm back. Did you get some rest? Mm, definitely. I'm feeling a lot better. Thanks for going outside for me. Did you get it? Yeah, I did. Question mark. What's wrong? Oh, I... Cass showed up again. He actually popped up out of this box. Huh? Wait, are you serious? Well, I guess nothing should really surprise me at this point. Did he tell you anything? Oh, you know, the usual angel stuff. Tiddings to comfort joy and so forth and eh, whatever. I don't know. Actually, he said he was leaving. Apparently, he won't bother us any longer. So we'll just have to find out if he keeps his word. Anyways, um... I'm a little curious, too. Alright, the test. Here, let me have it. John, come look at this. There's a red key. What? A key? It fell out of the box when I opened it. But the key looks a lot bigger than the box. Well, so is Cass. Good point. Obtain the key of the beginning. I don't believe it. We have all twelve. Do you think the road will actually be opened up now? It will. I don't think Cass would have shown up otherwise. He must have known this was going to happen. We're finally going to get out of here? Together? Together. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Look. It's... Whoa. We... Can't wait any longer. We have to get out of this town and start our journey. Home. I'm... Ready when you are. Alright. Let's go. Yeah. 
All right, well, let's do this. We've been waiting for a while. Well, now what? I mean, just slide the key. Oh, the keys. Make a noise. Anywhere I thought the keys would go. Oh. That's. The wall is gone. Or at least m most of it. Alright, let's go. Oh, hardware. <laughs> I don't need to go there anymore. I'll go with Sarah and leave town. Aww. One of the chainsaws. No, it can't be. That's, there has to. There has to be a way out. Well, keep looking. We'll look everywhere. There has to be a way out of this place. Well, the only building we can look in. Let's go in here. Oh, okay. Let's go left. Oh, the left side of the wall. The rules of the maze. Control for her. The elevator. Take the elevator down. See. And something that has to do with God and stuff. When there's something that press a button, you go down. It doesn't. Yeah, screw it, yellow one. Let's hope I don't burn. Oh, nothing happened. Okay, I was just overthinking things. The heck? What is this place? What? We were in the elevator for a while. We must have gone underground, but how far did we go down? What? It... Electric. That electric... That elevator. But... The power went out over a year ago. There... There are machines here, too. They light up. It's creepy, but... There's definitely a reason that this place is behind the wall. Let's take a look around and see it as much as we can. Is this our old look at machinery? Is this am I is it are we abducted by aliens? Is this what this whole thing was about? Aliens all the time? Is is this I heard a voice in the distance. You who face the accusers shall be granted fourth passage. That's what the voice says. I'm gonna save it just in case. Alright, let's go. The head speaks to you. Child, I say to you, you have abused this world. Do you deny this? Not really. Very well. Oh well, uh, I kind of screwed that up. <sighs> eh. Say it speaks to you. Child, I say to you, you have abused the gifts given to you. Deny this. Hmm. Yes. Very well. I meant to say yes on the first one because I haven't really done nothing that's, you know, freaking abusive to the world on this game, so. It speaks to you. The child says to you, There is no salvation for you. Do you deny this? Yes. Very well. That speaks to you. Well, the child says, you know, There is no salvation for this land. Yes, I deny that too. Hmm. Base is eternal. This pet speaks to you. Child, I say to you, no future can be made for you here. Do you know this? Yes, I deny that. Very well. 
I mean, because you can't have future there, it's just kind of a cramped one. It speaks to you. Child, I say to you, no future can be made here for your descendants. Do you deny this? Yes. Very well. That speaks to you. Child, I say to you, forgiveness shall not be given to you. Yes, I can deny that. Very well. I'm gonna see if I can redo this one. I can't redo that one. <laughs> Alright. That's what this does. Control for an elevator. Elevator down? Yes. Alright, well, what's gonna happen? Let's see. And yeah, my knuckles. Hmm. Over there. Right next to this. Yep. Got it. Yeah, elevator, let's go down again. Man, this room ain't creepy or none. What the? What the? What the? What the? They're moving. Key. Da da da. Is this another key? You gotta be kidding me! Another key. Hey, there's writing on the back. Go home. That's what it says. Yeah. And this is a dead end. There's nowhere else to go. Can we just get out of here and go back above grounds? Is this place really freaking me out? Yeah, I I guess we can. I don't think there's anything else here. This place is huge. It must run underneath the entire town. Dot to dot. What is it? This key. The one we just got. It looks like the two that we've been carrying this entire time. Two keys that I took from my house. But the color is different, but it's shaped the same. And the key says go home. Let's go. We have to at least see if there's something that might be there. Oh, the chest I have in my room that I've been wondering what it does the whole entire time. Alright, let's see what that does. I mean, heck, I mean, if we're gonna be stuck here forever, I mean, the angels can come visit. Sometimes they can be deformed. I'll be like, well, yeah, yeah, I can come over as guests. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we're gonna have to do here. Um, John? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't go any further with you. What? This has to be the end. Because of what I am, I don't have any right to say this, but I love you. If you took it inside your heart, you will know how much I meant that. And I know that when the time arrives da, da, da. thank you thank you for getting on this journey with me she was fake uh, uh, 
Oh, my life was a lie. Oh, my God. Yep. Could not blame him for that. You just sit on the couch. Yep. That's that. Uh, I guess. It's alright. You were alone. You've always been alone. It's no different now. Oh, wait. It is. I have a key. <laughs> well, then. Let's go see what it can do. Yeah, there's like a place. I'm going to walk slow. I'm not going to run. There's one thing I've been wondering this entire time. What does this key... What is in this? Hey, the key, it fits here. I had forgotten about this lock dresser in my room. But what's the key doing in that place? What is this? Basement key. Great. Dot, dot, dot. Smart basement. Aside from the drawer, I was going to keep money and a crowbar in. I don't remember having anything locked down there. But wait, is there something else here? Should take it, yes. Um, what? What is this? Second gold ring. This ring. It's identical to the one Sarah gave me. She said it was her father's wedding ring. They're even worn and scratches in the same place. How is this possible? I'm sure it's been locked up before I first left the house. What the heck's going on? Oh man, I feel so bad for this guy. He just had like his heart like tugged really badly right then probably. And he took... Um... Where is everything? Where did that door come from? Use Bim's community to open the door, yes. What the freak? It's the exact same place. What the heck? You go down, yeah. Is this like my personal hell or something? Oh my god. This place looks exactly... Hello, John. Hmm? Who's that? John, there's much to explain. Isn't that... Wait, that's me? There's a chair for you. Feel free to have a seat. We'll take a moment or two. Da -da -da. To begin, your name is not John. Shortly enough, you will remember your true name. I am certain that... At least a few of your repressed memories have a trick back into your unconscious mind, likely in a form of dream. A sequence of words I am now using will return you all the original memories of you to you, but it will take some time. Were they to be to rush all in at once, it would might prove that more do mind can handle it too much. So I've taken steps to ensure that they were turned gradually, and in the meantime, I will do my best to explain your, or rather, my situation. You are not the originally. You were not originally from this world. There are two phrases. It's more importantly, you are not even from this version of the world. You are most certainly not a real estate lawyer. Rather, you're a scientist. You're currently in your lab, suitable for movie lawyers' home, surrounding the area. I do not know how long it will take for your, you to return here and listen to this message, but some time ago, you achieved rather remarkable feat. After years of research in what you know in the world is currently a state of mind, being a quantum physicist, I don't know. You discovered a way to capture and large and several natural currents wormholes that form in the smallest scale of the universe. 
Eventually, you st established, stabilized one of the points where you could travel through this as possible. This wormhole form an open in, in the boundary between your universe and the ultimate parallel one, the one you are currently inhabiting. The research you are doing and the results came out of it were strictly forbidden by social and scientific regulation of your world. So you went forward alone outside of the watchful eyes of your peers and transported yourself along with the entire lab here, here to this reality. You placed yourself and your facility far beneath the surface to prevent cause of alarm. You hoped that to spend a lot of preparing the best way doing to this new surroundings, and, but your excitement proves to be too great. There was too much you wanted to share with the people that, to the author of reality, and much you hoped learn from them in turn. However, upon venturing out, you made a discovery. The version of your world had traveled to was primitive compared to the one you came from. It was populated by with human beings genetically identical to those found in your universe, but the social level and the society and level of technology was disappointingly ancient. It like a bug on my mic. Okay. It was as though they <clears throat> gone back in time to experience firsthand history firsthand. Surely enough, the research of the past came to understand what happened. In the reality time in the timeline, they experimented what could turn out into the driver's revolution, creation of the same powered engines, the beginning of the modern industry. A little more than two hundred years have passed to pres before the present day. In your timeline, steam power technology had existed since the day of the ancient Greek civilization some 24,000 years ago. In short, the, end, the, blah, 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 the universe found was dumb, like a basket. But in spite of the difference of advances, you found something irritatingly irritate, integrational, something okay about the people in this world reality. People were conditioned themselves different from those of your world. They were younger to speak, so they to speak their behavior showed little regret for long term consequences, and their emotions were intense and under constraint. Never before have you seen so much fear and anger expressed in the daily affairs of society. Two emotions that were dangerous in their own way, but seen nothing about it. Hmm. You have become obsessed with this. You believed that the study long before the little hand up. When it's really interesting, the one perhaps you don't know while long. So you made a decision you would observe the people here, but first you had to push the boundaries of their fear and anger just slightly to document the responses. So you would have to push their uh, the equipment you modify the air currently weather manipulating device. And use this to regulate the climate, preventing the deadly storms and regular droughts. You just in likelihood the large scale and practical joke in human history. I can't recall what went through your mind at the time. It was supposed to be a prank. Indeed, well, the legend, a few laughs. Rest the side of the current government. But here, you are never. In in your wildest dreams could have predicted them from your actions. The stuff that bad happened from your actions. Okay. When you first arrived in the reality, your life scan provided you with avoiding information. The world will be as populated from 7 billion humans and the number compared to the game and where you came from. After a week, the start of your social experiment never had dropped to a little over 5 billion. Seven days later, seven days and seven days, two billion people lost their lives to homicide, suicide, genocide, and I can barely imagine how it happened. You, I never thought the people of this world would become so violent and fragile. 
As of the time I am recording this message, around 2 million life signs remain. As a fraction of what was here, I am first arrived at the by the time you return and listen to this and you as soon as as things got out of hand you were going to run off back to your universe you had no idea what else to do but in your last walk through the town above your lab you found her The daughter of the store owner, she called you over. She would bring her water inside and ask, you, would you help? You agreed. You found her beautiful, but it was more than that. She remained remarkably calm and composed herself, falling apart around her. Well, there was falling apart around her. Sarah possessed a quality you found so rare and desirable. She was kind. You soon realized that she didn't need help at all, that she just called you out that day because she had seen you and she had always seen you alone. Sarah thought it was sad that anybody would be alone especially in such a crisis. Her mother passed away at a young age and she grew up <clears throat> a only child in a small town so she kind of lonely ever since I was alone. She made you coffee and you sat down and talked. You shared stories of the love grew up. Of course you couldn't reveal the truth. Oh, worried about the what happened and begun to attach you and created. <clears throat> Make a persona of yourself, hoping that it would disguise her interest. And you know what? She fell in love with you, anyways, just as you fell in love with her. She always knew you could tell. She. Mm, knew more that you let on but Sarah was patient she believed you would tell her when the time was right honestly you meant to you had no idea where or how but you were resolved to let her know the truth that she deserved to hear you married her her father accepted you this whole town accepted you before long you found yourself part of the world completely chosen but to abandon, to from the damage, dangers of heavily populated area, the people here live peaceful and supported one another. It was a wonderful counterpoint. The violence mission the same everywhere. What happened though? It couldn't have lasted forever. Okay, yeah. What happened? Oh, that day they arrived at the farmhouse. The you and Sarah renovated together the place where you were going to start a family. There were some Blackwood cult, and I could only assume that they were had form, formed at the during that time. Sarah went out to investigate while you were asleep. She must have been frightened, but she went out on her own. She would have woke you and she would have woken you up, but she didn't. Perhaps she wasn't thinking clearly. Perhaps she was that crazy girl who wanted to protect you. When you woke up, you saw she wasn't there and you ran outside. But then it was too late. They murdered her right in front of you. And in doing so, they murdered her child. Uh, they murdered the child inside her, your child. And then they shot you twice. But people from our world would have been biologically modified to withstand trauma of that sort. Within a few hours your wound healed and you regained consciousness. Here you had hoped that somehow something would have been done for Sarah but it had been too late. She had been dead for too long. There was no way you could have revived her the way she was. Of course you wanted to hate them. You wanted to hate the monsters that did this. Until you realized you're the monster that did it. That's not what it's gonna say. They aren't weren't evil. They were ignorant and frightened. 
You know, children not yet mature enough to fully understand what it means to be human. You realize then who the monster really was. Was it me? Everyone in the town was dead and you bur buried them all near the church full of the sacred ground. Except Sarah. You laid her as her and your unborn child as well. Great nights. That's where, oh, that's where her dad was. Oh. And it's all then you were going to fix everything. Damage the well and men listed done. Look through the search there and the spire that might be in come to mind. Huh? Sorry. <clears throat> Rather than simply create additional timelines, it would have created a new timeline for this universe. One where you experienced never occurred. But this devastation world would still exist. Nothing here would change. So instead, after months of turmoil and obsession work, you crafted the <clears throat> Dark Atomas you see here in this room. It may look like, may not look like much, but it was credited to. Should you step towards that device, it will read the molecular pattern of your DNA and destroy every of it not just here in this universe but every single universe and the timeline it would officially erase you from existence and along with you the work you have done to both wonderful and terrible it's almost funny how the most brilliant work to date would be used for such a purpose. In the end, right as I was right on the step accepting uh, cannibal uniform action, I became a coward once again. I couldn't bring myself to do it. That it seemed more unnatural to me than I divorce my own existence. It would be a death of the most strange and final sort. The wormholes is still here, it would destabilize unless I go through it and return to my universe. But I could not bring myself to walk away from all this from Sarah. After what I've seen in an eternity of indecision, I finally have decided to erase my memories. But only for a while, until only until I return here. I will replace my memories and make it as though I have lived in this world for my entire life. The world you experience is the one I created. But not entirely the town as much, but it was my first arrived universe. I met a few minor modifications. I have filled it with my apparition holograms. Apparition holograms, as you may understand them now, meant to guide you and perhaps install a little amount of fear that the fear and confusion of the people in this world must have felt because of you. Sierra though did not think of her as a merely some hologram a recording as I am. She was created from your memories of her. What she felt was genuine. When I wanted to create I wanted you to remember that your feelings when you return here, the experience in this world. I hope that this <clears throat> will lead you to make the right decision. So now, times finally have come. The seal, I have sealed the exit behind you. Your decision ends here. Straight ahead, the chamber will eradicate you and restore life to this world and what it is meant to be. Behind me is the way back to your universe. I will not implore that you make one decision or the other. I think it's clear how I feel. The choice is now yours. Da da da. I remember. Just barely, but I remember the fear of being in this room. I don't want to die. 
and I can't live with what I've done. But at least I'm clear, clever now enough <clears throat> to have set a trap for myself. I know now. There is no other way I would be able to make this choice. Da da da. Would be the vice. I was step in order to erase myself. Do you really want to go through with this? Do it. Now, oh, wonderful. He made it was certainly dark and cramped in here, and then add a layer of terror to the experience. Sir, you were right. Now that memories are almost fully returned, I have searched my heart and. I love you too. I am now am supposed to be doing this for good of humanity, but more than anything, I'm doing it, doing this for you. Your world, Sarah, is most precious, more precious than you know. Care for it, and it will suppress my own. You really do have potential to do that. Whatever happens, Sarah, I need you to promise me that you will be happy. Oh no, this is really a stupid decision, wasn't it? I mean, look at this place. It's falling apart. It's straight out of an 80's Slayer movie. Slasher movie. I remember when I was little, Miss moved here. This house used to be in her family for a few generations. It was a sweet old lady, but a little naughty when she living in the middle woods like this. When she passed away, her grandson inherited it. He didn't want to deal with the headache of maintaining it, so he you know, did something to it. And I couldn't let him do it. <clears throat> what was that woman's intentions or something? I just had the feeling that this place couldn't be destroyed. That somehow I belonged here. So I brought it from him. Two thousand, two thousand dollars and all. All my savings worked. Seems like a long time a little long. But now. Uh, Dad's gonna have a fit. Actually, what is he gonna think? All my talking and studying and sitting to finish in front of the semester and I have to lose some of this. Anyways, it's late in the night. I feel weird looking around here. But, one more stop before I go home. I guess. Now my house is here, my own personal little mountain. As much as I love New York City, there's none beast of you. One day I'll have a family and this will really be my home. I, I could picture it. Me and my husband are kids having a picnic here out here under the stars with us. Ah, oh, where they have the champagne bottles and stuff. Go again, get a grip, Shira. You don't have the boyfriend yet. Huh? Is that John? Did I hear something? Must have been the wind. Nobody even bothers coming up all the way up here. He's a ghost? I guess it wasn't a bad luck idea after all, buying an old farmhouse on a whim. It's not like I could stay here in a little apartment above the store for the rest of my life. In this small town isn't really that bad. I can make a life here. 
even if dad yells or thinks I'm crazy at first, I think he'll be glad I did this. I'm glad I did this. It's just the beginning. The age of deliverance. Hmm. That was freaking depressing as crap, but it's freaking good. Ugh. That's pretty sad, actually. Holy crap. Well, that's the end of it, guys. If you want to see more, well, I'll have some else posted up in tomorrow. But uh, till next time, guys. Um, bye.